Hey y'all, welcome back to Crime Time with Mel. My name is Mel, in case you have never seen me before. Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. I do missing people over here on this channel on Saturdays, and Wednesday I cover unsolved and solved cases and ongoing cases. If that is something you are interested in, I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. And if you are returning, thank you so, so, so much for your continued support. If you have Instagram and you would like to follow me over there, I do tons of stories over there behind the scenes on YouTube. I keep y'all updated with my YouTube videos when they're going up, if any have been delayed or you know my home life so if that interests you i would love to have you follow me over there it's just crime time with mal but the with is spelled out so today's video i don't know if y'all have heard about this but it is over in montgomery alabama i'm not sure if it's actually in montgomery or a suburb close to there but I heard about this when little baby CJ went missing and they didn't put out an Amber Alert because allegedly it didn't meet the criteria, like there were no suspects that took him or anything like that. So they didn't put out an Amber Alert, but they did put out a missing persons alert for him. And oh my gosh, this is going to make y'all super mad. So I'm just going to warn you, it's graphic. It does involve a five week, well, a five week old baby so if that is triggering to you or anything i will catch you in my next next video please i don't want you to watch this just for the sake of it um i would rather not cause you any more trauma so just click out of this video and i will see you in my next video caleb weinstad senior was arrested last wednesday not this week but last week um i'll put the date up here but he was arrested for capital murder on his five week old. And you guys, we got a lot to get into. Caleb is 32 years old. The mom is Angela Gardner. She is 28 years old. They reported their child, their five week old, Caleb Weinstead Jr., missing. Monday. They call him CJ, so that's what I will be referring, referring to him throughout this video. They reported him missing Monday, May 10th, around 10.45 p.m. Now, Caleb, the dad, said that he went inside the gas station, the Circle K, to go pay for gas, and when he came out, his son was gone. Dad said he does not remember much, but he asked anybody to come forward with any information that they may have. Now, from the start of it, when he reported baby CJ missing, his story per sheriff's department said that it was very inconsistent. He changed it a lot. I'm going to play you this video of this press conference they held on that Wednesday. So Monday, he went missing. They did a press conference that following Wednesday. What I have now is we'll have the family come forward uh, to give a statement. No, she's not good with cameras, so we apologize. But we would just like for anybody that has any information. I don't remember a lot. What I did remember I was breaking up, you know, with the cops. But I know that if if, if anybody's got anything, any any places that I could have gone, anybody, you know who you are. Please see, find him, please. It mean a lot. It mean everything to us. And that's family ain't the same without family. That's for sure. Anything else? Any questions? Oh, we, we had we had pictures of the baby too, that, but we sent him to the investigator's phone so he would have him to show y'all in the press. In the press, uh, but yeah, if, I don't know if y'all can see this pictures, but this is the best I can do. He's only a month and a week old. 
and there's other pictures with us together, but I didn't <laughs> cro trying to crop him and do stuff with this phone is not working very well. But, yeah. but we sent him to the to the investigator. Hopefully, the press gets him. Uh, I pray that they do, so that so that they can have a good idea of what he looks like, how yeah. close we are to the family, and how much we'd really appreciate him if he was with her. Saturday? Yeah, Saturday was the last time we were together. Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah. We were all together sleeping, and well, the baby with me and her in the bed, and Toulouse was in the other room. Because we usually, you know, we usually are together as a family, but. Not easy. I don't, and I don't remember much of. When did you all realize that you were missing? Uh, I, they, they didn't. I was home with my oldest, my two year old, and he was with. CJ was with him. And. I forgot. Uh, he went to go pay gas at the gas station and realized that he was gone. And he let the police know and me know that he was missing. Do you guys have any idea who someone's looking back taking him? No. No, I don't. I wish we did know. If we knew, he would have already went there. How's the rest of the family holding up? I know this is a tough it's, ordeal, but... It's been taking a toll on everybody. Everybody's saying prayers. Everybody's keeping an eye out for them. Again, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office would like to thank the many agencies that have assisted us thus far in this investigation. The local FBI field office has uh, given help to us, uh, as well as Elmore County, Wetumpka PD, Montgomery Police Department, and a host of other agencies. We're going to get into details on that video in a little bit because I have a few things that I immediately noticed and I want to know what your thoughts are on that video as well what you noticed if you noticed anything so we'll touch on that in just a second but after that press conference sheriffs got leads I believe um tips I don't know if they got tips but they definitely got some leads when they were investigating and they found baby CJ in the woods y'all in the woods passed away um they didn't release what happened um how they found him none of that it wasn't released right away and they immediately arrested the dad caleb senior i believe they just arrested him for manslaughter or second degree murder or something and then when they found baby cj's body they upped it to capital murder now if you don't know the difference between first degree in capital capital murder murder usually they're going to be able to use the death penalty as a punishment so that's usually the difference the first degree usually will carry a life sentence or multiple life sentence and if you get charged and convicted with capital murder you could face the death penalty now not too long ago they did release what happened um, the cause of death of baby CJ and it was due to blunt force trauma to his head Wow, like, that breaks my heart. Um, five weeks old, man. That poor, poor, poor baby. So this infuriates me. So, as I'm sure it does with a lot of y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about what I have noticed in that video. And then we're going to move on a little bit from there. So immediately what I noticed is they were on substances that is my personal opinion coming from somebody that has done those that substances in the past 
when you are a former addict or you have used, you are more than likely able to tell if somebody is doing the same thing. So that is one thing that I immediately noticed was they had to be on something. And then the next thing I noticed was when they were speaking, he, she kept looking to him like kind of looking for reassurance or I felt like he was trying to control her and I just got very unsettling vibes when I was watching this video of them. Um, it looked like mul multiple times that he was trying to back away and just end the conversation looking at the police officer, which is, I believe he's like the head of the division. So he's very, very high up and he just kept looking at him and he just stone cold, not saying a word to him. I think he knew there that he was guilty of something. Um, and you, uh, to me, I could see it on his face that he just, the officer felt like he was guilty or he was hiding stuff. That could be the reason why he doesn't remember. He could have been on a binge and really legitly does not remember what happened. But then again, he could just be saying that something could have happened um, while he was on a binge and um, this ended up being the outcome, unfortunately. I also noticed that as they were talking, not only was he trying to back away, but he was like carrying Angela with him. And when he was holding on to her, more of a comfort thing is like right here. Like if I'm upset, uh, my husband's going to be like rubbing my arm and stuff like that. When you're upset, you're rubbing somebody like this. And he was like holding her by the shoulder, like tightly and pushing it down and just like holding it. It was very odd to me. And I feel this is just my opinion. The, I'm no professional. So take it for what it is. Take it with a grain of salt. This is just what I'm observing and looking into. Um, he seemed to be controlling, um, maybe abusive. And that's just my opinion. Again, everybody is entitled to their opinion. We can agree to disagree and still be cordial and nice and friends. At the time that Caleb was arrested, he was already under indictment for reckless endangerment, possession of paraphernalia. Um, I don't know how to say these to y'all can look them up it's it I'll link the um, I'll link the articles down below if y'all want to look but he has possession of the clear stuff and possession of the hard 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 stuff that you use in your arm and I those are the two substances that immediately popped into my mind when I saw them that's what I thought that they were on or even coming down off of. He was also arrested in June 2020 for driving erratically down the road. And when the sheriffs pulled him over, there was an infant in that back seat. Now that infant is the now two year old that the mom, Angela, was watching while Caleb and the five week old were at the Circle K gas station. So the mom wasn't even with Caleb. She was at home like you heard on the video with the two year old. And Sheriff actually said that it was too early to tell if drugs were involved. I'm sorry, what? I mean, clearly, clear. And I think these people need help. I don't think anybody on substances is a bad person. I think they are lost souls and they need help. And it is never, never too late to get that help. It is not hopeless it is not a lost cause you are worth it you are worth to get sober your sobriety matters and i really hope anybody that is out there watching this that does have an addiction to anything gets the help they need because sobriety is a wonderful wonderful life so i will let y'all know any updates that come about this case it is truly heartbreaking and if you feel like there is abuse in anybody that you know, speak up for those children. Those children don't have a voice. 99% of the time they think it's normal and they think it's okay to live that way. So please be a voice to any children that you think is being abused. And if you know 
anything about this case, you can contact the Secret Witness Department and you can also contact Central Alabama Crime Stoppers. And I mean, if you know anything about this, about their history, about anything that could possibly help bring justice to this sweet baby CJ, then I encourage you to give them a call. I will let y'all know if any updates come out, when any updates come out, I will be sure to let you know. And thank you so, so, so very much for watching my video. I appreciate it more than you know, like more than you know. And I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. I'm missing a nail in case y'all haven't noticed. They're, they're horrible, so don't look at them. I'm getting them fixed soon. <laughs> Hit that notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss out on any more videos that I upload. Give this video a like. It helps out my channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have a great week. Stay safe and I will see you next time. Bye y'all.